So I've been spending time with these TTC Flame Reds. I'm convinced they're really good, but probably not by what you think. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel where we make videos on finding the best switches for you. So to start off with, they have this really captivating red color profile. Their looks definitely live up to their name and they make a statement. Their all red color scheme reminds me a bit of the easy red Octobers, but that's not the thing that impressed me about these switches. In terms of feel, these switches are good. I wouldn't say they have a super polished smooth typing experience out of the box, so if you're looking for that, you should take the time to lube them yourself. Personally, I like it and haven't found the need to open them up to lube. With a 45 gram actuation force, I'd put this in the medium light to medium weight category. I think this is a weight that a lot of people will find enjoyable, and most people won't find this too light or too heavy. It's sort of like a Goldilocks weight. But what's unique about these switches is its upstroke, or that feeling when you let go of a key. Some switches upstroke feel closer to the jumping on a really soft absorbing mattress. And what I mean by that is that there's not going to be any sort of rebound when you do that. In terms of switches, for some that feels more comfortable, for some it's going to feel sluggish. But this sort of mattress feel definitely does not apply to these flame reds. If anything, on the upstroke of these flame reds, it's going to feel closer to jumping on a trampoline. It's very bouncy and what's interesting is that this switch feels easier to press on the downstroke but there's more force on the upstroke. It's this lawn spring that allows for the trampoline-esque bouncy upstroke feel. The spring is 24.5 millimeters long, making it the longest out of TTC's switch selection. And this bouncy upstroke feels like it tracks your fingers really closely. It makes for a really lively typing experience. But this bouncy feel isn't what impressed me about these switches either. The sound profile is pleasant. It has the sound signature characterized by mellow thuds. This is mainly due to the nylon PA housing. So when the stem hits the upper housing, there's a bassy but dull sound profile as opposed to something sharper and more resonant. The sound signature is also clean in that I did not detect any spring ping. And in terms of volume, these are going to be on the medium side. Now, here's a brief sound test comparing the TTC Flame Reds alongside some other switches. This sound profile I found quite enjoyable, but it's not what impressed me about these switches either. And finding a switch whose sound profile you like can be a bit challenging. We all listen to sound tests, but they're actually not very reliable. So many factors affect sound tests from the recording equipment to editing to the very keyboard that the switches are mounted in. They all affect the sound profile. No wonder it's often repeated that sound tests are not indicative of real life results. It's a lot easier to try switches in person yourself so you can accurately find out whether or not they are for you. After all, feeling and hearing switches yourself is going to be way more reliable. Milktooth's Try a Home program removes the guesswork from choosing a switch. You can pick five switches to try a home for five days. It's easy and free, including return shipping. To get started, you can take our switch quiz or you can browse our switches. So click the link below to try switches yourself and discover the best one for you. So the thing that convinced me that these are incredible is this thing. Let's zoom in a little bit. Usually when we think of switches, we think of what they sound like and what they feel like. But these flame reds have chosen a different path in which these switches play a huge part in the visuals. Granted, eye-catching colors with switch housings have been a thing for a while now, but keycaps usually cover them up. But here, TTC's provided us with a pretty cool and unique feature that gives switches a more prominent role with visuals. So let me show you how a plastic part can enhance a keyboard's aesthetics. TTC switches all feature these transparent plastic inserts or condensers, but the flames are a bit different. Notice the nub on the bottom. 
These nubs touch the lights for each switch on the PCB. So these will diffuse light much better than a typical switch. It prevents the light from scattering. Instead, it directs the light and then diffuses it uniformly throughout the top part of the switch. It has this really lovely Halo-esque glow. So the thing is, I'm not even an RGB user and I found this feature to be quite convincing. Just the direction that TTC has taken with these switches has me excited about the potential role that switches can play in the keyboard's aesthetics. So overall, I really like these switches. They are really smooth and bouncy, which I like and I think a lot of people will like too. They don't sound particularly loud, nor is it silent. It's a safe and neutral sound profile. My theory is that TTC has chosen a Goldilocks feel and sound profile so they can reach the audience who are visuals focused first and foremost. And to do that, you have to create a feel and sound profile that are platable to as many people as possible. And once you do that, you can create switches that affect the aesthetics of a keyboard in a meaningful way. This is not what you'd expect from a switch manufacturer. So it's a really interesting direction that TTC has taken with these switches. But I think I get it. And it's really good. This sort of visual innovation is definitely something that I look forward to seeing more of. And with that, here is the full sound test of these switches.